So how do we go about creating our own macro? Not just running one that already exists or one that somebody else created. The steps are pretty straightforward. We go to create on the ribbons, come all the way across to macro, and that will open up the macro creation window. Let's just maximize. Now in the macro creation window, we have a middle pane and we have a right hand pane that allows us to pick other actions or view other actions that we might find useful. First step here is to add a new action. Well, all the available actions are listed in a drop down to make life a little easier and to reduce any syntax problems. So let's create a little macro that will open a form. Having chosen to open a form, we need to then tell it which form to open. Again, it's a drop down list, so you have to choose from an existing form. So thinking ahead in the development, the forms must already be created. So I want to open FRM employees. What view would I like to open it in? And I have a choice of form view, design view, print preview, data sheet, pivot table, pivot chart, and layout. Simply form view, please. Do we want to apply a filter? Not at this stage. Do we want to add a where condition? Again, not at this stage. I'd like to just open the form and see all the employees. Data mode. We have add, edit, and read only. So I can actually change the data mode for the form. If I change it to add, I'll be presented with a blank form ready to fill in a new employee. That can be quite useful. Edit allows us to go in and make changes to the data, or read only allows us to see the data, but not actually make and commit any changes. Well, let's choose edit. And then the window mode. How does the actual form window open? Normal, that would be the default. Hidden, so you can't actually see the form, but it is open. It can be quite useful for having global variables in a form that is just floating around but not visible. We can open it as an icon, again, not very helpful. Or a dialog, in which case we are opening the form in a modal format in which you cannot click past it. That can be quite useful as well. But this particular example, we're going to stay in normal. So those are all the parameters for an open form macro. We then save our macro. By default, it wants to call it macro one. And the second one that you create, it'll want to call macro two. I'm going to rename mine with the prefix CMD. You can see down in the existing macros, CMD hello. This one's going to be open employees form. That way I'll remember what it's going to do. Okay, and then if I close the macro, my macro is in my macro list. And when I double click it, it runs the macro, which effectively opens the form. Now, if I open the form, but I actually want it to fill the screen, I can do that in the same macro. So I close the form, go back to the macro here, be careful not to double click or it will run. Right click and design view and add in a second step. So having opened the form, but then like it to maximize. So I come down the list and choose maximize window. Now the maximize window command has no parameters. All it will do is maximize the current open window, which because we've just opened the form FRM employees, will be the FRM employees form. So let's save our macro and close. And when we reopen this time, you'll see that it opens maximized because I've told it to open the form and then maximize. We could add in a second macro, so create macro. This one's going to open form as well. Now, if you start typing, it will jump down the list to save you scrolling. I actually wanted to open the same form in form view, but change the data mode to add. We will again add a second step in our macro of maximize window. Save the macro, CMD, open new employee form. Okay, close the macro. When I now double click this macro from my macro list, it's empty, it's ready for data entry. So I have a single form, but two ways of opening it with my macro, open it for data entry or open it for editing. Now a third macro would possibly to be open the employee's report. So create macro. In the list, we have open report. So I can pre-type until I find it. I choose an existing report from the list of reports. There's only one. And I have a choice of view. I have report view, print, which will actually just print the report no asking new questions or preview and just straight to the printer or print preview, which would be my preferred choice. Am I applying a filter? Am I adding a where condition? For the moment, we're not. And then window mode, normal, hidden, icon or dialog. So the same as a form. 
So we'll stay in normal, but we'll also add in our second line command of maximizing so that our report is maximized. Save, CMD prefix, open, report employees. Okay, close, and I now have a fourth macro that when I double click, opens up the employees report in print preview. So it's not filtering that employees report, it's not printing that employees report, it's just print previewing the report. So that's three little macros I've just added. One to open the employees form, one to open the employees form, but in data entry mode, and one to open the employees report. All three macros have also been added the extra command line of maximize the window so that they then fill the screen. So that's how to create macros in Access. Choose your commands from the list in the order that you want them to execute, adding any potential required parameters as you go.